Hello and welcome, Aquarister here, back with another video, and today we are talking about chest runs. Now, some of you who know me might know that I absolutely love chest runs, I love loot, loot is life, juicy loot, all that stuff, loot is great. Um, now, I love chest runs, that does not mean that the majority of the player base might like them, and I know that chest runs have been very controversial for some people because of the old watermark slash expertise system that's no longer in the game. For some people, that was their only reasoning for doing chest runs. For some of us, it wasn't the only reason. So today, I'm just going to be talking about chest runs, sharing my opinions, some of the pros and cons that I see with them, and you guys can then take that and decide for yourself whether they are worth it for you to run or not. Now, before we fully get into today's video, I do just want to say if this video helps you out or if you just like it, please drop it a like. It really helps me out a lot. And if you'd like to see more content like this, including build videos, farm videos, stuff like that, definitely subscribe to the channel so you are notified when those new videos go up. I also stream throughout the week on Twitch and now on YouTube. So definitely stop by a stream if you'd like to say hello, ask any questions, just lurk, anything like that. We would love to have you. But let's get into today's video. All right. So. We are talking about chess runs. Now, a lot of people know that I love chess runs, and there are a lot of people still out there that actually do love them as well, I believe, because there's still a handful of people who are running them consistently, whether that's for the right or wrong reason, I don't know, but a lot of people are still out there running their chess runs daily. Um, they may not run every single area, but they are running them. Now, let's first look at some of the pros to running chess runs. Obviously, loot, gear, stuff like that, definitely worth it. Now, I will not say that every single territory is 100% worth it to run. A lot of groups might skip certain areas that I personally think are still worth running. And in the future, I do plan on putting a video together to show you which set or which uh, territories I like to run for loot specifically and why I like to do that. But today is just a general overview of chest runs, where we're at with the game, what people are really enjoying about chest runs, stuff like that. Because again, I still love them. I still run, I still run them almost every single day that I play and I enjoy them even if I don't get the best loot. Now, a lot of people in New World, it seems at this point are very, very goal driven. And what I mean by that is every single bit of content that they're doing, if it doesn't involve gold, sometimes it is a turn off to do that content. And I'm not saying everyone, but I am saying that there are quite a few people out there that that's how it seems. And I do understand it's hard to do certain content when you're strapped for gold, you're really struggling, and you know that you are going to have to go out and farm gold specifically. And especially those who are maybe limited on time can make it really, really tricky because you know that um, with that limited time, you want to go and do the fun stuff, but you might not always get the best loot or get what you're wanting. And so that can be really, really tricky and a big turnoff for some people. But I will say this is an MMO, right? New World is an MMO. We don't have a whole lot of other content currently that brings this many players together in a PvE situation. In PvP, yes, you have wars, you have Outpost Rush, which is, you know, a little bit bigger game mode. Um, you have the influence races. But for PvE, outside of maybe the Sandworm Trial... Um, there's really not much that makes it feel like an MMO in the sense of you have a massive amount of players in an area all doing the same thing, working towards the same goal, trying to run a certain route. There's just not much in the game currently. And that's what I really, really love about doing these chess fronts is it is just a big group of players. We all are there for the same goal, for the same reasoning, and it just makes it fun. It makes the game feel alive. Now, Pros, again, loot, you're going to maybe make some gold. I like the aspect of having this many people. But now for the cons. Now for me with the cons, what can be tricky is when you have a chess run where the entire group isn't killing mobs, they're running past stuff, they're leaving people behind, the group gets split up, it's just a mess, people start trash talking each other. And that can be really, really tricky to deal with. And sometimes I do have to step away from a chess run because maybe the people are toxic or maybe just things are just really, really bad with it. People are all over the place. There's various things that can definitely turn people away from chess runs. Now, that doesn't mean every chess run is going to be like that. In fact, most of the runs that I go on are great. It's fantastic even if i am a solo not in a group or anything people still pick you up they'll still you know kill mobs stuff like that 
Um, so a lot of the times the chest runs are still really, really good. I won't say that they all are, and I won't say that everyone who runs a chest run is the best person to be running them, but I appreciate the fact that people are going out of their way to set these up and to try to get people into these, you know, bigger group situations. It is a lot of work and it is a lot of pressure for some people to run these chess runs, especially as consistent as some of them are with how often they run them. So with the cons, again, it can be a little demoralizing when you're doing this long chess run and you don't pull a single item that might be good for you, right? You pull a bunch of gold, not a single one's good. They're all bind on pickup. Uh, you know, that can be really, really bad. There is a pretty, pretty big upside to getting kind of quote unquote trash gold items at this point, and that is the dark matter. So do not forget that for breaking down those gold items, you're getting dark matter. You might not be getting the most per item, but when you stack it all up on top of the chest that you are going to also get a little bit of dark matter out of, you actually can get quite a bit. You know, some runs, if you do a full world tour, you might get 100 plus dark matter if you actually pull enough gold items that are quote unquote trash. Um, I've had that. I've, I've had it where I've gotten just a bunch of dark matter just for doing a full world tour. Um, again, I am no longer upset if I pull kind of garbage gold stuff because dark matter is great. Farming dark matter can be kind of a pain. So with the world tours, that makes up for it um, in terms of, you know, a con being bad gear turns into a pro of more dark matter. So if you kind of go into it with that mindset, sometimes it makes it easier. But for some people, the chess runs just are not for them. It is just not it is not the content that they're looking for. And that is totally fine. What I do think they need to add, though, is more more you know pve stuff i know they have the events where they have the world boss and it'll pop up but maybe they do you know something a little bit different with it or have one have some that are you know just something to change it up i don't have the best ideas that's why i'm not a dev that's why i am not creating this game but i do think that offering more alternatives to chess runs that doesn't necessarily have to be um, you know, like a really, really difficult boss or anything like that, but just give us some form of a reason to get a big group of people together with all the same purpose. I mean, again, I love chess runs. I just want more and more players to get into this type of stuff, whether it's a chess run or anything like that. It's just fun seeing the player base getting together and playing together like this without having to gear check, without having to do any of that stuff. It's just everyone's there having fun playing the game. So, Chess runs, in my opinion, are worth it because I enjoy the content. Whether I get good loot or not, I still enjoy the content. It makes it much, much better when you do get the good loot. But, you know, I just I know that it's not always going to be likely. So that is how I really like to enjoy the chess runs. I know that, again, it can be very frustrating for some people because they don't see it as content. I see it as content. A lot of the player base still sees it as content, I'm sure. There's just a lot that don't. And those who don't, that is fine. You do not have to enjoy the content. That doesn't mean they have to get rid of it or that they have to massively change it. It just means that that content was not aimed at a player like you. You know, some, some players enjoy every single bit of the content in the game or they like doing absolutely everything. That's me. I, I don't necessarily have one specific thing that I prefer over another. So I really just like doing all the different things in the game. One of those things being seeing this mass amount of people getting together with the same purpose. Um, that's not just like an event world boss that people call out, you join up, kill it, you're done or on to the next one. The chess runs are fun, especially when there's a new elite area. People are trying to figure out the zones. It's a little chaotic. Everyone's just kind of all over the place. But once you get that first time where you have that route down, it feels so good to just like have a smooth run. But yeah, I mean, chess runs, uh, like I said, I, I love them. I know that a lot of people don't, but I also know that a lot of people do. I think it's great content. Um, for an MMO to, to be able to bring the player base together at all times of the day as well. I play, you know, I've played in the morning, afternoon, evening. There are chess runs almost all the time going on um, and maybe not as often as they once were, but they are still happening. Just if it feels like an obligation to you, it will not be fun. You won't enjoy it. Um, but I just see so many different benefits. Now, 
I do have another video planned where I am going to be telling you which chest runs are probably most valuable in terms of gold, resources, stuff like that, because there are certain areas that I will run over others because of what I can get out of them. And that is going to be a completely different video. So definitely subscribe to the channel so you know when that video goes up, because that is going to be a good one. I'm excited to put that out because I do have specific territories that I like to farm more consistently than others. And I will be sharing that with you in a separate video. But yeah, I mean, chest runs, as you can see, look at this gameplay here of this chest run. And there's a lot of people. We were surprised at how many people were there. This was middle of the day. This is not peak hours for US East or anything. This is just middle of the day chest run. And it was a blast um, just seeing the amount of people here. Pretty easy loot too, which is nice. You know, you don't have to feel like you have to have the greatest gear. You just need to survive. Just don't die on the chest run and you're doing it right. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, they're, they're fun. Uh, maybe not every day. I might not run a full world tour every day, but usually I'll hit at least one elite zone per day. Helps keep the loot up, helps keep me just having fun with, uh, you know, more people in the game. Um, and it's just a good time. It, it's fun seeing the player base together. Like I said, that is probably the best thing that I see as one of the pros of, uh, chess runs at this point. Now, again, there are cons to, to chess runs, and some of you might have even more cons to it. You might not like the same content, and that is totally fine. You have every right to enjoy or not enjoy certain content in the game. Luckily, they have, over the last year or two, have really given us more content. So depending on what you like in the game, you can go and play that. Doesn't mean that that specific area of content is going to be loaded with, you know, tons and tons. But it does mean that you are probably going to at least have some content to enjoy and hopefully with each season they'll take that content that you enjoy and make it better so you continue to play the game but obviously they can't please everyone they know that we should also understand that and just enjoy what we can enjoy in the game all right that is going to do it for today's video so thank you very much for watching i do appreciate it uh Chest runs, I know, can be a little bit uh, of an interesting topic for New World players. Uh, you're going to get some players who are going to still love chest runs like myself. I absolutely love loot. I'll go and run non-elite loot runs and stuff like that um, because I just love loot. I, I know that there is value in doing it, and again, I just enjoy doing it. So again, enjoy the content. And for some people, they don't enjoy chest runs, and that is totally fine. You don't have to love every bit of content in the game. I love most of the content in New World, so I like to go out and try it all, at least see if I enjoy it. Some stuff I don't like and some stuff I do. And that's just the way it is and that's how any game is. So definitely figure out what content you love in New World. If you love chess runs, definitely let me know down in the comments though because I do want to see the love for chess runs and those of you who actually do like going out, running loot, going for the juicy loot because loot is life. Loot is amazing. Um, but again, I know that some of you just don't enjoy it, and that is totally fine. You do not have to love chess runs. I I would love it if more people did love chess runs because we could get more and more people in these giant chess run groups. But that's just not the case, and that is totally fine. Play the game that you love to play. That is the most important thing when it comes to video games in general. If you don't enjoy the content, do not play it find something else, maybe play a different game until you get that itch to come back to New World or whatever game it is, because if you're not having fun, no matter what the content is, it is not worth it. So just have fun with the game, enjoy the content that you're playing, and just keep playing it, you know, just keep playing it, and if you need a break, you need a break, that's just how it goes. All right, that is going to do it for today's video though, so until next time, I will see you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.